Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create credentials in SQL Server. Uh, we'll be using two ways to do it using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. And before we go ahead and do that, I wanted to make sure that you understand the importance of credential and what credentials are in SQL Server. So I have a scenario right here. Uh, basically, this is a, a user right here. This is a SQL Server user that can access all the SQL Server resources. But uh, this particular user, user one, cannot access any resources outside the SQL Server. So let's say that this user needs to access uh, all the resources in um, outside the SQL Server resources. So there is another user right here, Azure Storage user. This user has permission to access Azure Storage resources. Now this user one basically need to get to Azure Storage resource. So it needs to have a connection, it needs to have a way to get to uh, Azure Storage which is outside the SQL Server resources, SQL Server instance resource. So wherever the SQL Server is, it's completely outside the resources of SQL Server which is completely out of hand of user one and it is all in hands of uh, this user. So in order to avoid credential, you can create this user, but maybe this is not the case because this is completely outside user. So you wanted to use, you wanted to basically create a bridge between these two users and um, access the external resources uh, of, um, you know, um, rather than SQL Server internal resources. So that, that particular bridge is basically called credential. So when you create credential, you're telling user one, you can go ahead and access and act as, act as Azure Storage user. And once I make you act as Azure Storage user, the Azure Storage admin will think that, oh, okay, this is Azure Storage user. So let, let, let me give him permission on Azure Storage user uh, resources. So basically what it's saying is that you can have access to the SQL Server resources as well as Azure Storage resources. But in order to make that possible, we need to create credentials in SQL Server so that we can act as you know, SQL Server resources and also access the external resources from the SQL Server. So this is where uh, I just wanted to mention that so that a uh, lot of folks are a bit confused about the usage of credentials in SQL Server. I hope it makes it clear that what credential can do and they're very useful, believe me, and we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're going to go ahead and create a credential in SQL Server. So here's my SQL Server. In order to create credential, you need to uh, connect to a SQL Server instance. I am connected with Tech Brothers client and SQL Server Mirror is my SQL Server instance. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the security. And in, well, once you expand the security, you will see the credentials. Right now, we don't have any credential. So what I'm going to do is right click on the credential and click on new credential. And I'm going to say Azure storage so this is my credential name right here is identity this is the identity that uh, uh, we're going to you know which external user that we were going to this particular credential is going to act so I'm going to go ahead and look into uh, my active directory and let's say I'm going to say George Bailey has access to Windows Azure. So this is the this is the user that has access to the Windows Azure. So I'm I'm going to go ahead and do that. And up here is the password for that particular user. So we're going to go ahead and create a password right here. Put a password. All right, I, I don't want to encrypt the uh, connection, so I'm not going to use create encrypt uh, provider. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay. 
and as you can see right here the credential is created now this credential can be used in any of this uh, if you wanted to you know select any login of SQL Server let's say this is the Tech Brothers I can have this this Tech Brothers basically act as a, a point map to this particular Azure uh, storage and this Tech Brothers who has access of SQL Server instance resources can act also act as Azure storage resource. So this is how you create basically using SQL Server Management Studio the credential, and um, uh, this credential also can used in can be used in proxy accounts. And if you look at right here, um, proxies. These proxies are if the proxy accounts any account that you can use and any time that you create proxy you can run as uh, this Azure storage so let's say that uh, we wanted to uh, go ahead and uh, run a script on Azure uh, we can go ahead and create a script and um, run the script as Azure storage because that storage Azure storage really has the permission um, to go into the SQL Server, this is the way to have a SQL Server. Uh, um, I I don't want to say that, but uh, in a way that I do want to say that it's in a, it's a way of external user to to be a login of SQL Server, even though it's not never going to log in to SQL Server. However, it's a SQL Server resource that can act and go and grab the external resources as well. So this is how you create the credential. Uh, basically in, in SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. So we're, graphic user interface, I'm going to go ahead and delete this particular um, credential and uh, load the um, load the T-SQL script and create the credential from there. So we're going to go ahead and load our right here. Create credential, app pool, this is my application pool with identity identity is right here and that's the that's the user basically that is going to go ahead that has permission on our uh, external application and not SQL server and this is the password for uh, uh, that particular uh, user and it'll act as Apple will act as our SQL server uh, resource which can go to the external application and act as Tech Brothers uh, K Scott who has permission to the external application and will grab everything from that application into our SQL Server and act as a SQL Server resource. So we're going to go ahead and click on execute. As you can see that uh, it's executed successfully so we're going to go ahead and refresh that. And this is the Apple uh, that's the credential that's created. So basically this is how you create credentials in SQL Server and I ho I really hope that you understand the concept behind creating the credentials, why we need to create credentials. But if you have any questions, please uh, uh, send me comments or uh, send me an email that uh, if you are still uh, confused about the credentials, I will try to clarify a bit more and I hope this video helps.